When we play flight sims, we don't just fly one plane, so we often switch between aircraft. If you buy new gear, this gear requires you to reconfigure it when you switch planes. Maybe click a program or load a config file. My goal is to solve this. You just fly the plane, and your gear works with no manual input. On my screen now, the top is the game. The bottom is a live view of the hardware. Microsoft Test Flight. Over. Sim has just started. Let's first load the PMDG Boeing 777. I will fast forward unimportant parts to save your time. Loading is complete. MSFS has a bug here. You must wait until you see the plane before clicking. Ready to fly. Or it might not load. The MCDU screen is blank, but that's okay. Press any key and the screen will refresh and show the data. You can click the virtual button in the game or the physical button on the SIM hardware. Just force the screen to refresh once and it will all work. Not only do the buttons work, but you can also adjust the screen brightness. That's it for the PMDG 777 demo. Let's load another plane. We will load the iFly 737 Max. Let's see how it works. Just like before, after I clicked, fly in Microsoft. Flight Sim, I did no other extra actions. Just waited until they're ready to fly. Same principle here. The data hasn't updated. Just press any button to trigger an update. That's it for the iFly 737 MAX demo. Let's quit and load the PMDG 737 at the same airport. Let's see the screen load automatically. like the 777 and iFly, the PMDG 737. Also supports screen brightness adjustment. We've only shown Boeing family aircraft. This time I will switch to an Airbus plane, the Fly Simware, A321. But my current hardware keyboard is for a Boeing so I need to swap it. I will swap it live without closing the game. I will change it to an Airbus keyboard. Let's see what happens. To swap the Boeing keyboard for the Airbus, unplug the USB first to avoid damaging the circuit board. Unplug the USB, then remove the four screws. Below, the keyboard is a connecting cable. Disconnect this cable and it comes off. Connect the new cable, it has a keyed design. Then tighten the screws to secure it so it won't move. I will just do two. Then plug in the USB and the power is on. When the USB is plugged in, MSFS detects a new device, just ignore it. The Fly Simware has a loading delay. Wait a moment and you will hear the impressive cockpit sounds.
Fly Simware lets you set the panel state in the MCDU cold or hot start. I will choose hot start with engines running, then confirm. That's it for the Fly Simware demo. Let's switch planes to the Fly By Wire, A32 and X. The Fly By Wire's external M, CDU, needs its SIM bridge running. That black window. That window is part of the aircraft software. Starting SimBridge requires no manual input. The program starts it automatically. I am just showing you what the window looks like. After the free fly by wire mod is loaded, let's try the popular Phoenix. The Phoenix startup is like fly sim where there is a delay while its background systems initialize. The MSFS demo is now complete. Let's quit MSFS, but we are not done. See you now next let's time. start X-Plane 12. Let's see the seamless transition. As X-Plane starts, you see WebFMC has already launched. We haven't loaded a plane, yet we have the Airbus keyboard. So let's load the Tolis aircraft. Test over. Starting with this MCDU hub version, I now support X-Plane, CDU brightness control. This feature was late but better late than never. Right? Let's switch planes to the flight factor, A320, and take a look.
My philosophy is you just fly your plane. The hardware works automatically. You don't have to fight with your equipment. You think that's it. The real purpose of rewriting MSDU Hub was to make it run on a Mac computer. This shows a Mac running my MCDU Hub to display the MCDU from FlySimware and MSFS on a Windows PC. The final goal is to let our Mac users also use the MCDU Hub.